Smells very nice. Kind of like Arby's. They're infiltrating. They heard they have more meats. I am trying Dickie's Barbecue Pits menu. Now, they have a massive menu, like endless items, literally. So I cannot get the whole menu, but I got a big variety of like most of their meats, most of their sides, some desserts. I think I have over 20 items to try. So this is gonna be a huge taste test. Grab a meal, grab a snack, eat with me. It's gonna be a ball in the pit, in Dickie's pit. I'm of course gonna give you my honest opinion on every single item, rate it from one to 10, and then at the end of the video, I'm gonna pick my favorite items and my least favorite items. So the items I got are a brisket and cheese classic sandwich, onion tanglers, waffle fries, a side of chicken nuggets. I got a Frito pie stack. Guys, a Frito pie? I have a lot to say about that. I was raised in New Mexico, so I know all about Frito pies. Watch out. A pecan pie slice, baked potato casserole, Asiago cheese creamed spinach, chicken breast, pulled pork, Sliced beef brisket, bangers and mash, AKA bangers and mash, isn't that British? We're gonna have a home down while we eat some fresh and chirps. Bangers and mash I think is sausage and mashed potatoes. I got the caramel crunch brownie with Snickers, a fruit cobbler, a Cuban sandwich. Now I am half Cuban, so let's see how authentic that is. Half of me will be the judge of that. I also got mac and cheese potato salad, Polish calbasa sausage, turkey, pork ribs, and buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Oh, there's so many things to try. I'm kind of overwhelmed. I still have my massive canker sore, so if I cringe, that is why. Now, to be honest, I'm not that experienced with barbecue food, okay? I am very experienced with New Mexican food. I'm experienced with Cuban food. I'm experienced with fast food and junk food, but barbecue is something that I haven't had that many times in my life. So I'm very pumped to try all of this. I have never been to this um, restaurant in my life, so. Red of all the dickies, then the pities. Before we start, guys, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, even though I barely post there. Get yourself a cameo from me, hello. My handle is Timmy Takeout right here, so look me up. But first, watch this video, please. Let's open up all the food. We have barbecue sauce, more barbecue sauce, and more barbecue sauce, and even more. This is the Snickers Caramel Something Brownie. Ooh, oh, hello, that smells amazing. I can't lick my fingers because it'll ruin my first impression. So let me get a rag. Oh, I'm gonna be using this as a napkin a lot today probably. What is this? Another one, I didn't get two of them. Mr. Dick is quite generous. Look at this, wow. One for my stomach and one for my other stomach. This is the pecan pie. Now y'all, I have a love-hate thing with pecan pies. They can't be too gooey in the middle. They have to be much more caramely. I don't want a jiggly pecan pie. I want a stretchy pecan pie. You get me? So let's see how this one is. It looks good. Um, let's see what this is. <gasps> oh, the onion tanglers. So I think these are kind of like onion rings, but just thinner and a bit more fried. They look quite dark. Ooh, the side of chicken nuggets. Um, some of them look kind of overcooked. Like this one, very dark, but we'll see. I think this is the sandwich, the Cuban sandwich. Okay, yes it is. Um, I see full on sausages in it, so that is already not authentic, but it's okay as long as it tastes good. It doesn't have to be just, like super authentic, like whatever. It can still slay me. It's not on Cuban bread either, but <laughs> in its defense, it is spelled Cuban, like C-U-E. B-A-N, so it's like barbecue, so it's like a barbecue Cuban sandwich. Very interesting. This is the other sandwich, I think. Um, I th what was it, brisket? I think it's a brisket sandwich, I don't remember. But yeah, I think it's brisket, and it's like brisket and cheese, very interesting. Smells very nice. Kinda like Arby's. They're infiltrating. They heard they have more meats. Now this is the fries, the waffle fries. The portion, to be honest, is kind of small, right? I don't know. But um, they look nice. They look a lot like um, Chick-fil-A's fries. And so many people in this damn country love Chick-fil-A's fries. I don't. I think they're tasteless. They have great wraps. They have great salads. But their fries are 
trash. And people say, it's all about the dips. <laughs> a fry should not need dips to have flavor. Sorry. This bag is done now. The big mama is done. Oh. It says, oh, Fritos. This is the Frito pie. Now, I think that there's like baked beans on it. So that's very like not authentic at all. But as long as it tastes good, I'm okay with it. No, wait, this is not Fritos. I don't know why they put Fritos there. This is the bangers and mash. It is the sausage with the mashed potatoes. Looks very good. Um, this is some sort of like cheese filled sausage. Usually I'm not the biggest sausage fan, but I have been trying to like open my mind up because I am a food critic. <laughs> a wannabe food critic and I have to be able to taste sausages and see which one is the most delicious sausage you know but something that I can't really critique I think forever is fish like fish will always be just gross to me it's sad but it's true oh what is this oh okay so this is one of the meat meals so to make it cheaper um I got two of the three meat meals they come with three meats and two sides so that made getting all these different items a lot cheaper than if i got them on their own you know so um it came with a roll very very nice looking roll and um this is the turkey the sliced brisket and the pulled pork so that's great now this is another three meat i think um this is the um kielbasa sausage it's a different sausage than the bang of the mash and I think this is the turkey and the other one was chicken um, and the uh, pork ribs. Oh my gosh, looks amazing, very nice. This is the buffalo chicken mac and cheese. It's like called like a mac and cheese stack or something like that. Very interesting, looks great. Smells very mac and cheesy and I was very happy. It did not come with blue cheese or gar <laughs> gorgonzola. Both of those we don't know, and they are usually on buffalo items, so I was just glad to see that it did not come with that. Now it says this is the bangers and mash, so this must be the Frito pie. Yes, it is! Oh my god, this looks so good! Wow, okay, so it has Fritos underneath, and it has, I think, chopped brisket all over, baked beans, cheese, green onions. Wow, this looks amazing. It smells incredible. Um, it is obviously not authentic at all, but I'm still so pumped to try it. Um, and then we have a couple sides here. We have the baked potato casserole. You can't really see it. <laughs> we have the cream spinach. You can see it, wonderful. Um, what is this one? Mm, potato salad, very nice. I love potato salad. A lot of people don't like it. I'm like, am I trashy because I love it? I don't know. You are trashy though if you like ambrosia salad. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Class it up, queen, because that is not it. And then we have the mac and cheese. Everything looks amazing. I think they got every single thing right, which is amazing because it was a huge order. So I'm very grateful. I'm going to set up all the food, get my thumbnail, get my close-up shots, and then we can start eating and critiquing. Okay, so first things first, let's try the meats. All six of them, but let's start with chicken, brisket, and pulled pork. These all look very plain, but I think that they're supposed to be plain because you're supposed to dip them into barbecue sauce. So, I'm gonna try all the meats with barbecue sauce. I think that's only fair. It's a barbecue restaurant, that's the whole point, right? So, the barbecue sauce is nice, pretty typical, but good. Let's first try it. Oh wait, the price, the price. So. The price of a three meat plus two side meal is $16.25. I think that's a pretty good price because this is like a pretty good portion of meat. I'm just saying, okay, let's try the chicken. Mmm, okay, mmm. Mmm. Sorry, my canker sore is hurting. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. Not dry, very tender. Um, the meat itself does have a slight smoky flavor, but overall it is pretty basic. In a good way, I feel like it's a nice base for sauces. And they have a lot of sauces. I just got original barbecue. Overall, good quality, nice, plain flavor. I think it's great, and it goes great with the barbecue sauce. Nothing to go crazy about, but it's good. Now let's try the brisket. It's just like falling apart. So that is iconic. 
It's a teeny tiny bit dry, but that's not a bad thing because it can really soak up a lot of the sauce, you know? And, um, mm, the flavor is delicious. It tastes like a classic lean kind of pot roast. Just delicious. Oh my God. I love it. Mm -hmm. The chicken is a nice 7 out of 10, and the brisket is a nice 10 out of 10. It just has that clean, lean, Delicious beef flavor, smoky. Mm. Now let's try the pulled pork. I love pork. I'm Cuban. <laughs> now this is not the same like mojo-y kind of pork that I'm used to. So let's see if I like this. Mmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I love it. I love it. It's great. Um. It's very shreddy. Very shredded. Um, not the juiciest pork. I've had much juicier pork, but the flavor is very nice. Once again, simple, a tiny bit smoky, and overall great quality. They have good quality meats, I'm just saying. Mmm, dicky. <laughs> dicky! I'm gonna give the pulled pork an 8 out of 10. And now it's time to try the other three meats I got the ribs, the turkey, and the calabasa sausage. Let's first try the turkey. I love turkey. My bae hates turkey. He like d is disgusted by it. And I don't get it because to me, it tastes like a different version of chicken. You know, it's it has a slightly different flavor and um, a slightly more, like the shreds are bigger than chicken. So it's a different texture too. But um, overall, I just, I love turkey. So let's see if I like this. It looks kind of weird. It doesn't look that appetizing to me, but let's see. I don't like them. Ew. At all. Ew, what is that? This is trash in my opinion. <laughs> it tastes like lunch meat, but thicker. It does not taste like carved turkey. The texture is very blubbery. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Very whale-y. It's kind of gooey. Um, it just tastes really processed. You know what? It tastes like Hungry Man's turkey dinners without the gravy. But even more blubbery. That is nasty in my opinion. It's a 0 out of 10 trash. <laughs> trash. It's time to try the pork ribs. I love ribs. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Mmm. Ow. Mmm. I got barbecue sauce in my kink are sore. Ugh, my eyes are watering. Okay. Those ribs are okay. I get that they're probably trying to make them a bit more plain just to go with the sauces, but I feel like ribs just need more seasoning, right? They need like a nice rub. The barbecue sauce with this very plain rib just isn't cutting it. It does taste smoky, but it doesn't have that rib flavor that it needs, you know, that poo pow. But they are good quality. They just need flavor. Um, let's try this calbessa sausage. Like I said, I'm not a sausage stand. You would think I would be, right? But I'm not. So let's try it. Oh, that's good. Mm. The, thin, the, the skin is so thick. Oh, it's so greasy. My mouth feels coated. Mmm, the skin is the thickest sausage skin I've ever tried. It's hard to even bite through. It's just way too thick and like leathery. Like what is that? Um, the sausage is full of grease. It's way too greasy. Like my mouth feels stuffed with grease. The seasonings are just okay. It doesn't really taste like a classic sausage. It's a little bit spicy, but it just has more of like a, what is that? I can't describe it. It's just a weird flavor. Overall, I don't like that sausage. That sausage is a three out of 10. <gasps> So that first round of meat slayed me. The second round of meat was not it. Not it for me. The pork ribs weren't terrible, but the turkey and sausage, goodbye. Next up, let's try the baked potato casserole. So 
So this came with one of the meals, so it was just part of that price. It has a great texture, very mashed potato-y. So they could have just called this loaded mashed potatoes instead of mashed potato casserole. No, sorry, oh, baked potato casserole, sorry, baked. But um, let's see, maybe it tastes different than, um, than the typical mashed potatoes. I see green onions, I see bacon, I see cheese. Let's try it. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't really taste like mashed potatoes. You know, you know what it tastes like? It tastes just like a hash brown casserole, but mashed instead of hash. <laughs> you know, very nice. It has a good flavor. Could be a little creamier. Um, definitely has the texture of mashed potatoes with a few more blobs. I love potato blobs. It's good. I'm not blown away. It has that sort of bacony, green onion, typical hash brown casserole flavor. Would I get this again? I don't know. I'm not sure if it's delicious enough. It's good. It's just not delicious, you know? So I'm going to give this honestly a six out of 10. It's cute. Let's try one of the desserts. Let's do the pecan pie. The pecan pie slice was $3 flat. I think that's a pretty good dessert price. Um, let's see if it's gooey or stretchy, okay? Oh, that looks like caramel. That is like stretchy. We love to see it. Mmm! That's amazing. Have I just been having bad pecan pies my whole life? Mmm! It's so caramely. It really is like a mouthful of caramel and pecans and crust, which is amazing. It's very good quality caramel stuff, whatever that is. It has an amazing texture. It isn't too sweet. A lot of pecan pies can be too sweet, and this one is not too sweet. It's literally, I think, the best pecan pie I've had. I don't know, but this is amazing. Um, the pecans are still kind of crunchy. I love this. This is a nice 10 out of 10, guys. That's a great pecan pie. Hell yes, okay, next up, let's do the waffle fries. Once again, these came as a side, so the price is just in the meal. Um, they have some pepper on them, probably salt too. I just can't see it, because it's invisible. They don't look crispy at all, um, just like Chick-fil-A, they don't. And they don't look golden brown, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm, wow. Mmm. Ow. I got salt in my thing. Mmm. Mm. Very good. So texture-wise, they could be a lot crispier. They taste like they should have been fried again, if that makes sense. Um, they just don't taste totally done. But the flavor is great. Unlike Chick-fil-A, they use seasonings. They put a lot of salt and a lot of pepper, but not too much. These are delicious. They just need to be crispier. Otherwise, they're perfect. Love them. So I'm gonna give them a seven out of 10. Next up, let's try the potato salad. This is a very yellow potato salad. It looks very smooth as well, almost like a mashed potato. Usually I like my potato salads more um, chunky, but let's see how it tastes. It smells like it has a lot of mustard and um, possibly relish. Maybe it's like those, those like sweet gherkin pickles. Let's try it. Mm, okay. Typical potato salad, very sweet. I prefer mine a bit less sweet than that. Um, but I think that different areas in the U.S. have like different kinds of potato salads. Some states like their potato salad sweeter and some like it saltier. I like it saltier, but it's still pretty good. Um, it's a bit too mashed up, a bit too whipped. I like more of like a rustic vibe with more chunks and just almost like a sauce coating the potatoes and not like a mashed type of vibe, you know? So it's all right. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It's pretty good, it's just not my type of potato salad. Next up, let's try the chicken nuggets. So these chicken nuggets come as a side, very interesting. They are $4 flat for five. It's 
It's a bit overpriced, don't you think? Especially if they're burnt like this. I wanna try a non-burnt one first. Oh, they're all kind of burnt. Yeah, they're, they're all pretty singed, but these are the most singed. Let's just try it. They did it. <laughs> they're not bad. Sorry, I almost choked. Um, they taste just like McDonald's chicken nuggets, like almost exactly, but with a little less flavor and a little more burntness. I like them, but if I want some cheap ass chicken nuggets like this, I'll just go to McDonald's, you know? Um, it is nice that they have it on the menu. They're just way too foamy and processed and they need more flavor. So I'm gonna give those a four out of 10. Not terrible, like it's nice that they're there, but they need more flavor. So I'm gonna give those a four out of 10. I would not choose those again. Next up, let's try the brisket sandwich. The brisket and cheese classic sandwich was $8 by itself. Um, I don't think that's that bad, but it should come with fries, don't you think? Um, but yeah, so this has cheddar and brisket and I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to add barbecue sauce. Hello, right? So that's like the whole point. So let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Once again, the brisket is amazing. Amazing texture, amazing flavor. Very simple, but delicious. I do think it needs a lot of barbecue sauce, like a lot more than like what I put because there's so much brisket, which is great. It's a big portion. And with the bread, it really needs something to make it less dry. It's just quite dry. But other than that, the brisket is amazing. Cheese has a nice sharp flavor, love that and um, the bun is great too. I'm gonna give this a nice eight out of 10. Very, very good. Just a bit too dry, but very good. Next up, let's do the creamed spinach. This is an Asiago creamed spinach. So it looks quite creamy. I love creamed spinach. Let's hope I like this one. Very good. Wow. One of my favorite cream spinach sides is from Boston Market. Oh my god. It is just delicious. And I think this one might be even better. It's so creamy, so comforting and warm and just delicious. And the Asiago cheese is very sharp, but not in like a gross cheese way. It's in like a nice like way. Mmm. Oh, it's so creamy. Wow. Amazing flavor. It might be a tiny bit too salty, but I honestly don't even mind. It's so good. Um, okay. I can't stop eating it. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. It's amazing. I'm very impressed. Next up, let's try the brownie. Or should I say brownies? Because they accidentally gave me two. This is the Caramel Crunch Brownie with Snickers. It smells very snickery. Mm. It is $3. Let's see if it's good. It's very heavy, very dense feeling, and very sticky. So let's try it. Mmm. Oh, that's rich. That is delectable it does taste like a snickers meets a brownie so the actual brownie itself is very very fudgy and very very dense and rich um it is not the fluffy kind of brownie it does not taste like a light brownie it tastes like a rich brownie brownie which i'm fine with and the um and the toppings give it um the snicker vibe i think it has uh caramel and peanuts the caramel is very rich, thick, and dense, just like the brownie. So it is heavy, but it's delicious. Snickers themselves are like a very heavy candy bar. They're very thick, they're chewy. They have so much sweetness going on. So this really captures that and um, it's just delicious. I love it. So I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 
if it was a tiny bit less rich, it would be perfect, like a 10 out of 10. We have six items left, guys. We have the bangas and mash, we have the Frito pie, buffalo mac and cheese, normal mac and cheese, onion tanglers, and the Cuban sandwich. Let's do normal mac and cheese first. The first thing that I'm noticing is that they have very long macaronis. Isn't that a big macaroni? It's quite large. The sauce looks very KFC in a good way. I love KFC mac and cheese. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. It's um it's it's a different kind of mac and cheese. It does have that KFC kind of processed mac and cheese flavor but it's not as strong as KFC's mac and cheese. It has quite the bright and light flavor. It's kind of hard to explain, but it is very bright. Um, it's all right, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Now, would I order it again? I don't know. I don't know, it isn't as good as other mac and cheeses, so. Oh. Um, next up, let's try the bangas and mash. So this is a different kind of sausage. It has cheese in it. And I'm not sure if this is mashed potatoes or just more of that baked potato casserole. The bangers and mash was only $6.95. That's a great price, honestly. This is pretty heavy. Like that's a full meal, $6.95, I'm shook. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab some sausage, and get a chunk off, and some mash. Let's see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's good. That is definitely the baked potato casserole for sure. So it's just okay. Um, and the sausage is, is a lot better than the last sausage. Um, this one has a more smoky, like classic sausage flavor. And it's a little spicier. And the skin is a little bit less tough. Um, but I still don't love it. And with the sausage, I don't know why, but those potatoes taste like boxed potatoes. And I don't like boxed potatoes. It's like the sausage almost brings the mashed potatoes down more. I think I'm gonna have to give this a five out of 10. It's just <laughs> Next up, let's try the onion tanglers. Do I look super red? What's up with my lighting right now? Do I look like Oh, there we go. Okay, it just adjusted. What was that? Like I said before, these look very thin. Not like an onion ring, more, more like a fried little onion moment, you know? Let's try it. I mean, full oh, damn barbecue. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Those are so packed with grease. They taste like the store-bought fried onions that you put on top of a green bean casserole at Thanksgiving. They do not taste like a side. They taste like a topping. If I ate all these, I'd be so full of grease, more than I already am, that <laughs> I literally would just rea myself. They're so thin, so breaded, so greasy, too salty. I don't like these whatsoever. This is like a two out of 10 for me. In my opinion, trash. Next up, let's do the buffalo mac and cheese. So this looks pretty good. Um, the mac and cheese didn't slay me, but it might taste better with some buffalo sauce. Let's try it. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, this works. Oh, mm. the mac and cheese is very light and like plain, but with the buffalo sauce and the chicken, it's like a great base. The buffalo sauce is like the star. Mmm. So good. It's just very cohesive. It works. They're a happy little family, a little spicy buffalo family. I'm gonna give this one a nice nine out of 10. Fantastic, okay, last two items. The Cuban sandwich and the Frito pie. Let's do the Cuban sandwich. The Cuban sandwich has pulled pork, lemon pepper, 
jalapeno cheddar sausage, mustard and pickles on a toasted hoagie bun. So this really doesn't resemble a Cuban sandwich whatsoever besides the pork and the mustard and pickles. A traditional Cuban sandwich has Cuban bread, Cuban pork, ham slices, Swiss cheese, mustard, and pickles, and then it's grilled. It's like pressed, you know? This is not pressed, this does not have Cuban bread. It is, I just don't think that it even resembles a Cuban sandwich whatsoever, so I don't know why it's called the Cuban sandwich. And the price was $10 flat. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Mm. Other than the mustard and pickles, this really has nothing to do with Cuban sandwich. I just don't get it. Just, just like call it a sausage and pork sandwich. Cuban sandwiches have so much flavor within the pork and the ham and the Swiss cheese, everything. And the Cuban bread itself too. And this does not have that much flavor besides sausage. I don't want sausage on my Cuban sandwich. I'm sorry, that has nothing to do with it. And I know that I might be over critiquing it right now, but I'm very passionate about Cuban sandwiches, so I apologize. This is just not it whatsoever. It, it does not have the flavor it needs to even be close to a Cuban sandwich. The hoagie is so, ugh, hoagie, it's dry. Honestly, even if it wasn't a Cuban sandwich, it's just not that good of a sandwich. It's not that flavorful, and it's just meh. So I'm gonna give this a four out of 10. It's not terrible, it isn't like disgusting, but it's not good in my opinion. So last but not least, we have the Frito Pie. Now, I grew up from when I was two to 11 in a very small town in New Mexico. Throughout my whole childhood, I ate authentic New Mexican cuisine, okay? I'm talking about red chilies, green chilies, and not like the chili with beans in it. Red chili is just like a super hot red sauce with like meat chunks in it, it's iconic. Green chili enchiladas, green chili burgers, and something that they eat a lot of there, like at birthday parties and things like that, is Frito Pies. They'll like make the chili, and then they'll just like set up Fritos, lettuce, tomato, cheese, uh, sour cream, all that stuff. I think the more authentic Frito Pie is Fritos with a super hot red chili on top and then tons of cheese. And all the chili just drips down and soaks all the Fritos and it just becomes amazing. But then like more of like the birthday party type restaurant Frito Pie has like all the toppings like lettuce and tomato, all that stuff. Now this is totally different. Even if it is different, I am grateful that they have it on the menu because I have not seen a Frito Pie on a menu in years. This Frito Pie has um, corn chips with your choice of barbecue beans or jalapeno beans and your choice of chopped beef brisket or pulled pork topped with cheddar cheese and white onions sprinkled with rib rub. It sounds great. There is no chili on this. It's baked beans. But I did choose the jalapeno beans because that sounded a little spicier and, and it has brisket on it. So I want to get everything in one bite. Let's get some Fritos, some beans. Ooh, let's try it. Mmm. 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 The beans are pretty good. They're not sweet. They're just more like normal pinto beans with a little bit of spice. So it doesn't have like a barbecue-y flavor, which I'm very happy about. The brisket is amazing. Cheese is great. Burritos are iconic. It is very nice. Now, if they swapped out the brisket and the beans with a brisket chili, that would really make it taste like a real Frito pot. That would be perfect. But this is what they got, and it is very nice still. It's very delicious. The beans surprised me. They're nice. So, mmm. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. It's not amazing, I've had much better Frito Pies, but it's it's great, I'm just grateful it's on the menu. I would totally get this again. I tried everything, guys! Oh my god. My least favorite items were the turkey, the sausage, the onion tanglers, and my favorite items were the pecan pie, the cream spinach, I love the brisket, the Frito Pie. There's a lot of good things here, so 
Let me know in the comments below if you have been to Dickies. What is your go-to order? And um, if you haven't been to Dickies, what looks the best to you? Thank you so much for watching. Um, go follow me everywhere, guys. Timmy, take out. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Oh.